Welcome to the San Diego Air Pollution Control District's dealership and installer training for the on-road chapter of the Carl Moyer program, otherwise referred to as Moyer for short. Just a quick introduction to our Moyer staff here at the district. Kathy Keehan is the supervising air resources specialist. Then we have our five grant specialists, Robert Mercado, Ben Wong, Heidi Gabriel Pack, Kim Impresso, and Ugo Salgado. Our contact information will be posted at the end of the training. Today, we'll be going over the following. Background information about the Moyer program, minimum dealership installer qualifications, the Moyer process and timeline, requirements of the replacement vehicle inspection, requirements of the pre-dismantle inspection, delivery of the old equipment to a qualified dismantler, electric or hybrid vehicle requirements, additional resources, and finally, our contact information. The Moyer program was developed to help organizations and individuals replace older, more polluting, heavy duty vehicles with newer, cleaner ones. Some of you may be familiar with the VIP program or voucher incentive program. The Moyer program is similar to the VIP, except Moyer requires the grant recipients or customers to contract with the district. Also, the Moyer program is applicable to any sized fleet. Moyer grant contracts will help grant recipients Replace on-road vehicles with a gross vehicle weight rating of at least 14,001 pounds. In these tables, I've summarized some of the more common on-road CARB compliance requirements you may encounter for different types of trucks. From left to right, we have the truck and bus regulation for lighter and heavier vehicles. Think box trucks versus dump trucks, school bus and solid waste collection vehicles, and finally, drage trucks. For grant eligibility, existing or old vehicles must show at least one year of carb regulation surplus. For example, let's say it's June 2020 and the Moyer program is open for applications. If an applicant owns a 26,000 GVWR truck with a 2006 engine model year, as circled in red, there would be about six months of regulation surplus until its January 1st, 2021 truck and bus compliance deadline. This would make the truck ineligible for Moyer because it has less than one year of compliance surplus. The customer must purchase a replacement vehicle from you that meets or exceeds the standards in current CARB regulations. What this means is a grant recipient may be coming to you to purchase, for example, a used drage truck with a 2016 vehicle model year, or maybe a new low NOx natural gas waste collection vehicle, or as another example, even possibly a new electric school bus. As part of Moyer, the replacement vehicle cannot be older than a 2014 vehicle model year. Here are the minimum qualifications for dealerships and installers that participate in the Moyer program. You must have had a valid California business license for a minimum of the last two years, have had a valid 
vehicle dealership license with the DMV for a minimum of the last two years. Maintain a minimum of one employee that has reviewed this training presentation. And if you have multiple dealership locations participating in truck sales for the Moyer program, each location must have at least one trained employee. You must allow the district or CARB to inspect Moyer related vehicles or audit program records during business hours. Finally, if you're an installer, for example, you repower engines or convert equipment to electric power, then you must be authorized by the manufacturer. After reviewing this training, you must submit to the district a self-certification affidavit letting the district know you meet the minimum qualifications to participate in the Moyer program. Now we're going to go through the Moyer process and its general timeline. First, the applicant applies for Moyer grants. Then, the district reviews all applications and awards grant contracts to grant applicants. After contracting, the applicant or grant recipient shops for replacement vehicle at a dealership like yours. Next step is what you're doing right now. You're being trained and approved by the district to participate in the Moyer program. Next, the applicant orders a replacement vehicle at your dealership. When the replacement vehicle arrives at your dealership, it is inspected and the inspection is approved by the district. Later in this training, I'll go through the different photos required for the replacement vehicle inspection, also known as a post inspection. The applicant now transfers their old vehicle and title to your dealership. Next, the applicant takes possession of the replacement vehicle. The old vehicle that the applicant had turned into you needs to be inspected. This inspection needs to be approved by the district. The required photos for this pre-dismantle inspection will be discussed later in the training. Now the dealership transfers the old vehicle to a district approved dismantler. There is a list of district approved dismantlers posted on our website. We will have the links to our website at the end of this training. Finally, the applicant submits their replacement vehicle invoice along with other paperwork to the district in order to receive their grant reimbursement. During the replacement vehicle inspection or post inspection, the following photos will need to be taken. A photo from one side of the vehicle with the hood down. The photo can be taken either from the left side or the right side. The VIN tag from either inside the vehicle or on the frame rail. Engine serial number and the engine tag containing the engine family name. We'll go over some examples of the engine family name in the next slide. Or if the vehicle is a zero emission vehicle, instead of the engine, photos of the primary motive power components need to be taken. For example, the motor and battery, etc. A photo of the license plate if it's already available, the odometer reading, photos of the engine taken from both the left and the right side, 
Once again, for zero emission vehicles instead of the engine, photos must be taken of the primary motive power components, like the motor and battery, etc. Finally, photos of the modifications to the vehicle, if there are any. Here are a few examples of engine tags showing the engine family names circled in red. The purpose of the pre-dismantle vehicle inspection is to determine if the customer's existing or old vehicle is in the same condition as it was when the district first evaluated it during their grant application. When the customer brings in their existing vehicle into your dealership, the vehicle must be in similar condition as it was during the application evaluation, otherwise known as the pre-inspection, must be roadworthy, not have been stripped of parts except vocational external body components like a dump body or a box, and accept non-stock vocational internal equipment like food preparation equipment in a food truck. Existing vehicles with parts that were stripped or vehicles that aren't roadworthy must be rejected until otherwise brought in acceptable condition. It is also important that you do not allow the grant recipient to possess the replacement vehicle before they bring an acceptable existing vehicle. Now, we will go over the photos required for the pre-dismantle vehicle inspection. This inspection is done after the customer brings in their old vehicle. The photos required for the pre-dismantle inspection are as follows. Both the right and left sides of the vehicle with the hood down. The front of the vehicle with the hood down. The rear of the vehicle. The VIN tag from either inside the vehicle or on the frame rail. The engine serial number. Also, if available, any other engine information like the make model year, and engine family. Both the engine serial and the other engine information should be on either an engine tag or stamped on the engine block itself. The license plate. Photos of the engine taken from both the left and the right side. The gross vehicle weight rating, or GVWR. And finally, the odometer reading. The customer's old vehicle must be delivered to a district-approved dismantler within 60 calendar days of the dealer receiving the old vehicle. Alternatively, a district-approved dismantler may pick up the old vehicle as well. You may find a list of district-approved dismantlers on our website, which will be listed at the end of this training. You will need to complete and submit the certification to deliver engines vehicles to qualified dismantler form to the district as soon as you receive the customer's old vehicle. This form lets the district know which dismantler will be scrapping the old vehicle if we haven't sent you this form yet, please reach out to us through the contact information posted at the end of this training. Make sure the expected delivery date to dismantler is within 60 calendar days of the date you receive the old existing vehicle. While waiting to deliver the old vehicle to the dismantler, the dealer may not use the vehicle except to move the vehicle to the dismantlers for destruction or 
to store the vehicle. For electric or hybrid vehicles, either new vehicles or conversions, you must provide a copy of the owner's manual to the district. The manual must include the following at a minimum. A brief description of the vehicle or conversion system, including major components and their theory of operation and proper operating procedures. Battery maintenance best practices and charging procedures and protocols, if applicable. A listing of necessary service intervals and service requirements that differ from the base vehicles or engines original manufacturers, if applicable. A statement that the hybrid converted vehicle is subject to all in-use vehicle inspection and maintenance programs applicable to its size, type, and class. The manual must also include the name, physical address, email address, phone number, and website, if available, of the manufacturer and authorized installer, as well as a list of names, addresses, and phone numbers of the major dealers who supply parts for or service the vehicle. All information necessary for the proper and safe operation of the vehicle, including information on safe handling of the battery or energy storage system, and emergency procedures to follow in the event of battery leakage or other malfunctions that may affect the safety of the vehicle operator, emergency personnel, or laboratory personnel. And finally, the product warranty statement. For more information, we have listed CARB's Moyer website, our homepage, and a link to find our list of approved dismantlers. To subscribe to our email listserv and stay informed of our various grant programs, click this link and select Air Quality Grants and Incentives. Thank you for tuning in to the district's on-road Moyer dealership and installer training. If you have any questions about this training or about grants and incentives in general, please feel free to contact any of the specialists listed on this slide or the next slide.